In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up TACX for AS, ASA. Uh, we're going to do ASDM and uh, the command line. So uh, it's pretty easy, kind of like uh, what I, I said in the last video. We have to make sure in uh, in the ICE deployment, the device admin service is enabled. Uh, we also want to make sure that our network device is already added in here. So I'm going to go ahead and create ASAV, or just ASA. Uh, the inside interface for the ASAV. Um, I'm also going to configure my shared secret, which is my super secret password. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head over to device admin and policy elements. And I'm going to go to uh, profiles first. Uh, actually, I previously created them. I'm going to go ahead and delete them so we can kind of start fresh. So let's start with uh, ASA read, read only. And we're going to do default privilege of five and maximum privilege of seven. Submit that. Then we're going to create one for AS, ASA admin. And we're going to just make sure it's at 15 for and 15. Submit. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and go over to command sets. And I'll go ahead and, oh, it looks like I already created them before, too. I'm going to delete those. We can kind of start anew. Let's go ahead and create one for ASA admin. And permit any commands that's not listed below, which I'm not going to list any below, so every command is available. Uh, next, for my ASA read only, we're just going to give them simple commands they can do. So permit, show, check the box, permit, enable, permit, help. Again, log out. Pager. Clear. Just basic stuff right now. That actually, I'm just going to rename this really quickly because it's going to be a little deceptive. ASA all save. Perfect. So, next thing we're going to do is configure our device admin set. Sorry, I just want to make sure my terminal didn't log out. Uh, so, we're going to device admin set and we're going to create an admin set first for ASDM. Uh, so, this part's just really easy. ASDM. At this is the device admin policy set for the so the first thing we're going to define this as create new condition device type equals firewalls add a condition or value we're going to do tacx type equals authorization and tacx port equals 443 443 I'm going to tie that to AD and we're going to create a new rule so first rule is going to be for device ad uh, admins our domain admins domain admins Create new condition. 
security demo, external groups equal, surprise, surprise, domain admin. Command sets, we're going to just do that ASDA all, and the shell profile is going to be ASA admin done, and then duplicate row below, demo user. The only thing we're going to change here is the shell profile, the read only. So done. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a policy set for uh, just the ASA itself. We're going to put it underneath the nested under the uh, uh, ASDM. This is just going to be for the CLI. This is the device admin policy set for the security demo ASA CLI. Condition is just going to be device type firewall. Oh. Done. Point it towards AD. Done. And kind of same rules. So, or, you know, same kind of concept. So we're going to do domain admins. Command set all shell profile admin done. Next, we're going to create one for our demo users. Demo users. Surprise, surprise. We're also going to go ahead and make sure it's demo user. We're going to change the command set uh, here to read only and uh, read only. Done. Now we're going to swing over to the uh, the um, ASA CLI, which I have logged in already. And we're going to go ahead and start configuring. So we're going to configure the AAA server, which is going to be ICE1. And the protocol is going to be TACX. AAA server, uh, you know, ICE1, it's going to be the inside interface in my lab. And then host, the IP address of the host. Uh, the key is going to be ice cold. And uh, I already cleared my AAA configuration before, so now we can just kind of configure from scratch. SH console ice one local. So fall back to local if, uh, if the AAA server isn't available. So authentication enable console ice one local. A authentication. HTTP console ice one local. One other thing I just want to double check. I want to make sure that I, uh, under my device, network devices, I want to make sure I classified that as a firewall. Yeah, I just thought of that. So there we go. So back here, we're going to go AA authentication secure. Awesome. So, a authorization exec server auto enable. We're going to go ahead and authorize HTTP console by ice one authorization. Local. This one, it's going to fail on me, I can tell. So I just told it to do account auth uh, authentication via ICE. Oh, you know, it still will work because I was logged in as uh, another user before. Serial console ICE1. Counting enable console ice one a accounting command ice one write mem 
So let's go ahead and close this and log back in with my AD account. Awesome. Um, now let's close this and sh try to log in with our, oh. So just to show you, T interface, I don't have any, you know, interface G0 slash zero. So I don't have any c command limitations here. So I'm gonna close this and then change this to demo user. Demo user. See, can't get it. It can't do anything with my uh, demo user. I can just do show commands essentially. And whatever else I configured on there. So just to test this out as well in the ASDM interface, let's go ahead and go over to 9561 uh, 70. Okay, I should be able to have full access, make changes. Um, change it in that rule maybe I'll just make a change to something slight slight change to uh, something small oh look our dynamic DNS uh, configuration yay uh, maybe I'll just configure something like test Okay, so then I'm going to sign out as this guy and reopen ASDM. I probably should have just logged out, not to. Uh... Let's go back to. Our, see, I don't have any option to configure anything. It's like all I can do is monitor. So, yep, yeah, uh, it's pretty easy. The configuration is uh, not rocket science at all. Um, obviously, you can do a lot of combinations. It's really up to what your business wants or what you want. But, you know, it's, it's a very simple config at, it, at its base. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And the next one I'll do is the uh, iOS CLI, uh, the iOS uh, TACX in my next video.